Good day, one and all. I am a very British drug addict, and thank you for joining me once again on another little workout sesh video. Today, I thought I would give the One Punch Man challenge a go. So, quite simply, I wanted to train like One Punch Man. I'd literally been awake for half an hour at this point, and I thought, bugger it, I'm just going for it. So, wanted to do 100 squats, 100 push-ups, and 100 sit-ups. First 20, felt a bit stiff, but they went alright, did some stretching after. Camera died, got a fresh battery, and got straight back to it. The next 20, honestly so much easier. The hardest part of that was uh, finding the battery, because I had to go all the way downstairs and then walk all the way back upstairs, and after that first set I was dying. But for some reason this next set was just so much easier. So we moved on to the push-ups, and I picked a completely awful angle for the first set. But at least you can see I'm getting nice and low for this first set. Don't know how great my form was for the rest of the day, for the rest of the day, rest of the morning, rest of the session. Kind of fell apart a bit, and you'll see. But I'm really happy with those first 20 push-ups. Went back onto the squats after that. Really happy with that form. After just doing so many squats with weights, um, I, I found I had an issue a few weeks ago where I was struggling with keeping my heels down when doing squats without weights. But I can safely say I've overcome that issue. Getting nice and low, keeping that back straight. Should probably keep my chin a bit more tucked. But I was trying to emulate the One Punch Man form with the uh, crossed arms. And that's 80 squats there. That's about 40 in a row. 80 squats in total now. Into the next set of push ups. These were not easy. But I pushed and I pushed. Had to have a little rest and stretch out my back a bit. My traps have been feeling really sore lately. I hope it's just where they've been growing. <laughs> um, but I've not injured them. Don't think I've injured them because it does feel like the right kind of pain. They've just been a bit stiff and sore. Started overheating. Had to whip the t-shirt off. It is quite warm and muggy today actually got a lot sunnier as I was working out. There's 40 push-ups done. And then on to the final set of squats. Honestly, this last set I think is probably the, the strongest and best one. A little bit of back curvature there. But considering this is approaching 100 squats, I'm fucking happy with that. Leaning a little bit there towards the end. But I, I am going to forgive myself this time. 100 squats done. Then it was on to the next set of push ups. And this was starting to hurt. So at this point, I hadn't actually decided to do the sit ups as well. That's why I was just doing push ups and squats. I was originally just going to see how many, you know, I wanted to do the One Punch Man thing, but I, I kind of don't like sit-ups, um, so I just wasn't going to do them. <laughs> Terrible, shameful. And also at this point, I would kind of decided, as you can see I'm doing knee push-ups now, I just couldn't do any more real push-ups, um, and I decided that when I hit 60, that would be it. So... I, I died for a little bit, <laughs> but, and you can literally see, but you can literally see, yeah, but, but I just decided to fucking do it, but I can keep going, I can keep busting this out, just watching some stuff on the laptop. 
staring around the room, just trying to keep myself motivated. Sit-ups just aren't that fun, really. I've been doing them for years, and I'm quite confident with my abs, to be honest. I don't have an issue with them. I'd like them to still get stronger. I I've just been kind of being lazy when it comes to the sit-ups and the crunches. I'd just rather, you know, do some deadlifts that day, and I find if I if I do the, the sit-ups, it does affect the form of the deadlifts later. I, I can still do them afterwards, but I'm just normally too exhausted and forget about them. Yeah, 60 sit-ups, here I was, exhausted. But I pushed myself on. I'm doing it. Gonna make it to 80. My head has started to dip forwards quite a bit at this point. They're not the best push ups, even for knee push ups. But I was just going for the adherence and the, the determination here above all else. My arms were hurting, I was struggling to breathe. But I just knew I could do this so close now when you hit that point where you've now done 80 and you're about to hit 80 of the next you just know you can fucking do it or, or so I thought or, or so I thought so had to pause here to breathe for a second <clears throat> and I struggle a clamber and you can see myself grimly trying to convince myself to do this last set. Just 20 more push-ups. I'm telling myself I can do this. I can do this. And some mental link just wasn't there. I couldn't push past this wall, not in this moment. And I just, yeah. So two more. And I thought, fuck it, I'm not giving up. We'll at least get to 100 of the sit-ups. So with all my remaining determination, pushed and pushed and pushed, thinking about One Punch Man, there in my bedroom, with no air conditioning. 100 sit-ups, 100 squats and 100 sit-ups complete. And this is the moment where you can see me deciding I can do it. It's only 20 more. I figure I need to stretch out a little bit first. I really enjoy this flex here. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You can see why I'm doing this though. My ribs still poke out way too much. I want bigger pecs. Not happy yet. Here I go, pushing. Final 20. Some of them are a bit weak in form. You can see my muscle groups are working. I am not wussing out here. I'm genuinely just like really proud of myself today. I like actually absurdly proud of myself for doing this. I have no intention of doing the 10 kilometer run at all. I think that's just self-destructive basically. But this, I am feeling the burn, and I know I'll feel the benefit. And there you can see I have a little wiggle on the floor. It's the most I can do. <laughs> my neck and my shoulders are glowing pink. <laughs> Struggling to breathe correctly. <laughs> my abs are just absolutely freaking out. And this is where I'm going to differ from One Punch Man. I'm not going to eat a shitty meal. This is what I'm having for dinner tonight. And I might have just heard my phone beep. That's my warning to go cook. So see you later. Thanks for watching.